I'll give you the tea. I'll give you all the tea because I was once where you are. I was once struggling on how to get clients, on how to get people to recognize me and take me seriously because I didn't go to a makeup store. Assalamu alaikum. Hi guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm really happy that you are here. Thank you for joining us today. If you are new on my YouTube channel, thank you, thank you for dropping by. You are absolutely welcome. So today I just, today I made the realization of what I actually want to do with my YouTube channel. Like it hit me like a rock. I, if you are not following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram girl. It's going to be right here. Okay. okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. It hit me. I actually want to give more educative. I want to give out more educative stuff. I'm going to. Don't get me wrong. I'm going to continue doing my lifestyle because I actually love that one. But I also want to impact more people. So without further ado, let's get into this video. How do you actually become a professional makeup artist without going to any school? Yes. How do you do that? You're wondering. Just kidding, just kidding. I joke, of course. So, there are many stuff that you don't need to go to school for, especially when you cannot afford it. There are many people out there that cannot afford to go to school. You cannot afford to go to a med to to a to a makeup artist school. You cannot afford, you cannot afford to go to a professional school. What do you do? You do what broke people like myself do, right? If you can't afford something, you don't kill you. You don't go and kill yourself over it and you can actually make money without going to a makeup school. This is how, if you want to know how, continue following this process, this train of thought. Continue following. You want to perfect your skill. How do you perfect your skill without going to a makeup school? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Watch a lot of YouTube tutorials and practice, 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 practice on yourself. Like watch YouTube. Do you know what? I'll write, get a book, right? Write down what you want to learn. Take, take it day by day. If you want to learn eyebrow, learn eyebrow. Do it over and over again. Do it over and over again. Do it a million times till you get it and you will get it continue doing it. it's going to get it's going to take much longer if you are self-educating yourself but honestly with the amount of youtube videos out there i don't think you should be spending that amount of that amount of money going to a makeup school for certification nobody is going to hire you i was once a makeup i was once a freelance makeup artist actually i just stopped freelancing um being a freelancer makeup artist freelancer i just stopped like literally i just stopped this year this year yeah this year so i know this nobody you're not going to go for a job nobody is going to call you and be like can i see your certification it don't go it don't work like that in the whole time that i have been a professional makeup artist i get a lot of questions like which school did you attend what where did you study if you look at my previous videos and my instagram videos and pictures you'll see that i'm actually i'm actually very good at makeup and i have never been, been to a makeup school Right? And there are a lot of people like that. They have never been to a makeup, makeup school, but they are good and they are doing their, themselves. They are doing, they are learning this thing themselves and they are doing it themselves. You don't need to spend a million, you don't need to spend that amount of money to, to go to school. With the way the internet has made everything easy for you, education isn't just a degree. You can achieve education twice sitting down on your bed. Like it has come to that. So I would advise, what I would advise for you to do is learn, learn, practice, do it over again. If you think you have gotten better, do it over again. And if you know somebody, if you know somebody like maybe a local makeup artist next to you, you could ask her, you could do and be like, can you critique my work? It is very, very important for her to critique your work. Go and do, if you can't find a model all the time, because you can't. With the way of, with the consistency that I'm telling you to um, practice, you cannot find a model at 3 a.m. in the morning. You cannot find a model all the time. It doesn't work like that. You have to be your own model. So ask her, can you please critique my work? She will do it. 
tell her that she wants to learn some also please she she doesn't have to teach you because obviously she's not going to teach you makeup if you don't if she, if you're not paying her right so you want her to ask you you want her to, to critique your work she'll tell you all the flaws everything that she's that, 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 that she said to you don't take any offense because you actually need the criticism you need the criticism to, to improve so when she gives you the criticism take it take it down write a note go home do it all over again do it all how do you get clients as a makeup artist that has never been to a makeup school if you want a video of that just tell your girl let me for now let and me. what i keep telling my students because i actually do i i even this year i taught makeup so what i keep telling my students is you don't have if you have the money by all means but if you are just starting makeup even if you are going for a class or you are learning by yourself, you don't have to buy the high, the high end stuff, right? You can buy the really cheap stuff. They are really cheap, affordable stuff, and they are really cheap stuff that and that you can even get for how many thousand there? Do you understand? So you don't have to go out of your way to get the high end product just to practice. Because when you are practicing, you are actually doing it so much. You are doing it. You are doing it a lot. Do you understand? So the product will finish faster, and and then you'd be wasting your money. You'd be wasting a lot of money, so I wouldn't advise you to go to, to go that far. I really wouldn't advise you just to, to go that far. So just buy the cheap stuff, right? Do practice, 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 practice. So if it is eyeliner, do it. Learn it. If it is lipstick, learn lipstick. I actually have a recommendation for you. If you for you, if it's for lip art, I would actually suggest you would stick with you go for Ronke Raju. She's she's an amazing lip artist. I love all her lip things. Why, why is why is it like doing this thing and that thing? What is happening? And if you want to learn, um, if you want to learn um, makeup, and even she does makeup, amazing makeup too. But her lip art is. Mm. Um, there's Lydia Stanley. There's Dima Ome. This all of these people. I actually, I'm actually going to do a beauty series about this because they really, really helped my life. When I was trying to become a makeup artist and I became a makeup artist I was doing makeup I was traveling to do makeup and people were really calling me and I never went to any school do you understand so it was really good for me but then I realized that that wasn't really what I wanted to do for, for the rest of my life so I had to back out I had to back out and search for what I what else I wanted to do. I had to search and then begin to do it all over again, which I'll tell you in another video. Obviously, I'm not going to dive into that because that's not what we're talking about right now. But yeah, that is what happened. I stopped being a makeup artist because I realized that I love, I love makeup. I don't love it that much. <laughs> I love makeup, but I honestly do love it that much and I don't love to do it for other people that much and I honestly do love to do it on myself that much. So I figured, you know what, I can't do this, I can't keep up with this, I can't do this the rest of my life. Nah, nah, nah. So where did we stop? Yeah. You can watch these YouTubers. Ron Kiraji, Lydia Stanley, Dima Omer, obviously everybody knows Jackie Aina, mm. Laifa Beauty, uh, who, uh, who else? CCME, um, there are many people on you, there are many, many makeup artists on YouTube. Um, Wani Aliyu, who again, who again, who again? There are many of them. Right. I can't I can't honestly list them all but all of these people you can check them out you will you will learn a lot of stuff I can remember actually like okay I'll tell you this on a YouTube on a beauty series I will tell you this on a, on a beauty series watch men that you are going to fill up your hard drive like <laughs> watch that tutorial girl. do it all over again you will learn you will learn I swear the internet has made everything so easy that you can get education any kind of education on the internet and it is free basically you just have to be there to get it so i really recommend doing this practicing practicing getting 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 perfecting your craft doing it on yourself even if you think you're not good enough do it don't be afraid to take pictures show your friends be proud of yourself because if you give yourself if you thank yourself for doing something you're going to do something better than better than it tomorrow critique yourself too be your be your own worst critic do you understand 
have people that that you know are better than you. you can have friends that are better better than you at give up right have them critic your work actually my my closest friends are my worst critics they critic me so much on things that i do and they are doing it out of love so you know i approve and all of that and i really really appreciate them so you need criticism in your life too so i think i'm going to stop this video here and this is how to become a makeup artist without going to a makeup school you buy a product you do this so at least one thing is watch youtube tutorials two perfect your skill by consistency consistency in that you do it on yourself so much practice 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 on yourself so much number three don't practice with buying high-end product buy cheap product if not you will run out you will run out of cash and you don't want to spend money that like that whilst learning makeup even critic um look for criticism wherever it is have people critique you so that you can do better right and the fifth thing is give yourself credit when you achieve something when you've done the good eye brother you know it's better than yesterday because take notes take pictures look back at yourself look at look back at what you did and be happy and thank yourself because you need to thank yourself how whichever step you are taking in life thank yourself now we're diving into now we're diving into self-love let me cut this out <laughs> i'm not trying to be dr phil you guys so thank you very much for watching this and if you want if you want uh, to, um, a video on how to get clients as a starting makeup artist, like uh, as a starting makeup artist that hasn't gone to school, that hasn't gone, to, that, had, that doesn't have a certificate, if you are looking for that, comment down below. I will do that video. I will do that video. I'll give you the tea. I'll give you all the tea because I was once where you are. I was the tea. I'll give you all the tea because I was once where you are. I was once struggling on how to get clients, on how to get people to recognize me and take me seriously because I didn't go to a makeup school and I did it and I achieved it. So if you want me, if you want that, comments down below i will be sure to do that video and that might help and like this video if you like and yeah follow me on instagram and actually subscribe if you want tips like this summer because yeah just please subscribe thanks bye oh, i should go and wash my hands you i just came back home and i didn't wash my hands and i am kissing you guys you